Welcome to this video. I'll be showing you how to use an old router such as the uh, you know, I'll link this WRT54G to extend the wireless range of your wireless, ne net wireless network in your house. First thing we're going to need is a, lo a long cable to where you want to put this router. So uh, I have this one drill. It's about maybe 50, 100 feet from uh, where the main router is. Now, the reason we need this is because you can't do this with wireless. You can't like send wireless to a, a regular old router like this and then have it repeat it. That's what repeaters do. Yes, they work, but you get packet loss and uh, probably a lot more problems like uh, more ping and signal de degradation. So uh, it only boosts a weak signal. So that's why we need Ethernet. Now we're going to be disabling the DHCP server on this second router. And because the first router will be doing the assignments of the, the LAN IPs and not this one. So I'll get to that later. First, we're going to need to plug this in and reset it. We'll see why later. So just have it plugged in. Lights aren't turning on. Now they're on. So uh, when it's on and everything's ready, just uh, take a pen or something and hold down the reset button for about 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, once that's done, it's now reset to factory defaults. And then we can next go to the second step. Okay, now that we're at our computer, we can start to program it to uh, accept a, wire, a, a wired signal and then broadcast it wirelessly. First, have it plugged in with power and then plug a cord or Ethernet cable into a client port. These are all client ports here. Ignore this one. We're not going to be using this one at all during this tutorial for the second router. We'll see later. And uh, well, we have this plugged in to, to a client port and to the Ethernet port of your computer. Let's set it up. Let's go to the PC part now. Okay, now that we're on our computer, because most wired routers don't initially allow you to connect to the um, configuration page via wireless for obvious reasons because of people taking over it or whatever, change settings. So right, go to the bottom right if you're on wireless or uh, wired. Right click, it either be like wireless symbol with bars or if you're on wired, it'll be a screen with a little ethernet port next to it. Right click either of those, it'll be one or the other. And go to open network and sharing center. Go to change adapter settings and right click and disable your wireless card. I named one Wi-Fi. All right, now let's open an ether, a, a internet browser. It doesn't matter which one. It's using, it's using Internet Explorer just because it's clean. There's nothing, nothing on it. So let's go to the uh, default IP address of this router, which most links this router is 192.168.1.1. Then it'll ask us for a username and password. By default, there's no username, and the password is admin with all lowercase. This will definitely not be all the same for every router, comp every router um, model, and especially for different manufacturers that aren't Linksys or Cisco, like uh, Netgear. So you'll have to look up either on the manufacturer's website or Google it, or I can give you a link to some websites. They'll have a, a huge database of that information for you. Okay, the first thing we need to do once we're in is go to wireless. Let's change the SS, look for something called SSID, or it has a wireless network name here. That's the name of your, the wireless network that it, it'll be to choose from when you want to select the wireless network. Let's name it Linksys Test 0001. I push enter there, let's, let's, let's do save settings. If you're connected via wireless, you'll be kicked off right now because you just changed the SSID, so you have to reconnect. That's why we're doing wired at the moment. So then go to wireless security. If you don't do any of this, anyone can get on your router and be downloading things and slow you down. So uh, let's go to WPA2 personal, or on some routers it's named WPA2 PSK, which is the the best basic encryption for, in my opinion. Then go to AES, for secondary encryption. Type in a password such as a uh, Bob12345 for a password you will remember. Or you can write it down. Depends. 
and now save settings. You will now be kicked off definitely if you're on wireless, but since we're on wired, we're still connected. And this specific router does not have an option to uh, enable wireless access to the configuration page by default, so I think you can connect to it at any time. So yeah. Some other things we need to do before we uh, send off to not be able to connect to it anymore, which we just change some major settings. Go to the front and go to MTU or find that. Just a little side tip. You don't need to do this, but uh, change it to 14, manual in 1492. That's good for uh, Xbox Live and a lot of other gaming networks to have, have open in AT. But that's, that's a whole different video. And the next thing we, may, we need to do is go to advanced routing and look for operating mode. It, or another word, which will have to be set by gateway by default. We do not want gateway. Gateway is, when, is a setting where you plug something into the, the WAN port, like you, from your modem to the wire, your router here, and then that is where the, the internet signal comes from. What we need to do is set to router, and when we, once we do that, you can plug an ethernet cord from your main router into a client port or a LAN port on this router with the, uh, the other one, or the group, the group of ones next to each other, not the one to the side. And it'll bleed into the wireless network and also into the other Ethernet ports. So you can use it like a switch, basically, and as a repeater. That's the beauty of this uh, setting here. Uh, save the setting there, which you may be kicked off. You might have to connect via wireless again. Let's re-enable your wireless card here. Settings we did before. Go to wireless and go to Linksys Test Visitor 1 and enter the password, which is Bob12345 for me. So well, that's taken a while. Let's see if it's already connected. Yeah, it's connected. So uh, let's type in the, pa the router password, which is still admin. So you can change that at a administration. The router password, here it is. You change that. And you click save settings, that's where you can change from the password from admin to log in into something else. Which would be good to uh, prevent people from logging into it and changing your settings or whatever. The next thing we need to do, since we've done almost everything we need to do at the moment, this last setting will kick us offline, I believe. Which would be the DHCP server. Now the, first, the thing about what we're doing here is that we will not be using the secondary router to assign IP addresses for LAN. We'll be using the first router. It'll be assigning the router IP address and also all other things are connected through the secondary router as well. We'll also need to change the uh, local IP address, which if you have two that are the same, either you'll only be, to be able to connect to the first one or neither of them. So once you look, look on your main routers and look at the IP address range, we'll need to select a IP above that range, which, uh, which the last one, the last octet may be 149. So let's change this to something like 152. That'll also be the thing you need to log into. So what we're doing, why we're doing this is because if you want to change some settings on this configuration page for this specific router later, you need to be able to connect to it to say you change settings because it's common sense. So change that to 152 and then DHCP server disable. And we're ready to click save. So save the settings. And remember that IP address, because now we will not be able to connect to it under any circumstance, unless you set yourself a static IP on one of your cards, which is a, a different story. So uh, we're done, actually, with the secondary router. Let's go set it up in the place we need to be set it up at. I will uh, see you in a minute. Okay, now we're at the place where we're setting up our router, our secondary one here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And turn the power on. Lights are on. I have an old Xbox 360 here to put on top of. I actually have a couple of those. So let's go ahead and connect. This is from 
a port on the first router. Do not plug it into the WAN port here. Plug it into one of these, which I'm going to select the first one here. And we'll see it's, it's uh, active, port 1. And now, you connect to this router's um, SSID, your wireless name, and you will have internet access. You'll have two, um, yeah, two routers will have two different networks. Don't name them the same or else you have problems. So you can, you can now connect to this router and have internet right now for your wireless, or you can also plug any other device into the other client ports here, and it'll work just like it's the first router. And you'll have no signal or a, no problems with ping or connection because it's actually broadcasting again from right here. So that's the uh, beauty of this setup. Now I'll go back to the computer and set up some other settings. Now that we're back on our computer, this is near the first router. It doesn't well, actually it doesn't really matter where you are. But uh, let's test connecting to each um, admin page. So we can actually do it. Do it. You can actually connect to either of them from either uh, router that you're connected to. So uh, let's do wireless and connect the one down the hallway or on a different level. So we're already connected to a link to test. Wait, let's see what this one is. Yeah, that's, that's the one we just did, we just made. It had an extra number after it. So let's open up internet browser. Google.com. We have internet. Let's go to a uh, router. This is the, the, the my first router master one and uh let's go to router two which i already have saved as a uh, the last one 152 and here's access to the other one the other router down the hallway password admin here we are we can now connect to either router's configuration page from either network just use the correct ip address so let's see uh status here if you go to, go to status on your secondary router, if you see an IP address here, or some that mask or deep gateway or any DNS, you are doing something wrong. And you either plugged it into a WAN port or you didn't select the uh, gateway to and switch that to network or router setting. Now, not all routers will have the ability to do what we're doing here in this, this uh, tutorial. So, uh, Actually, that's that. Actually, we're all done now. You can connect to. Actually, this secondary router has two different uh, networks here: bands, two point four and five gigahertz. You can connect to internet via the first one, and we're on the internet on the the uh, first router. So, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have fun with your. Brand new uh, router, router setup and better connection all throughout your house. I mean, my phone, when I, I walk around the house, if it senses the signal is getting bad from the first router, it'll connect the second one automatically. Sometimes it doesn't, which actually two times, two thirds of the time it doesn't. You know, I just have to manually change it. So it's already saved, so you just tap it and it connects. And you get way better connection because it's actually a, connecting to a different access point that's actually the same IP address, external IP address. So. Thank you for watching, and uh, this is actually an updated version of another of the video I did this before that I did not expect to get a lot of views, or 100,000, so I'm redoing it. And uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will try to get back to each and every one of you. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day, and God bless.